puppy. Oh, hey, Hi, robot, robot puppy. puppy. What is it? What are you trying to tell us? Hi, Zay. What is that? Is that a new coding language? Dylan, that says pizza. Oh, I knew that. Well, not that I've ever had it, but it looks good. Is it hard to make? Actually, we would probably be good at making pizza because it's kind of like programming a computer. Really? Huh. But I'm not a chef, so how does that work? Well, just like in coding, you have to start with a sequence. Think about it like this. In the Nancy Drew Codes and Clues app, you have to help Robot Puppy move by placing different commands in a certain order. If you do it right, you can help Robot Puppy and solve the mystery. It's the same thing with a pizza making chef, except their commands are the steps in a recipe. They make the pizza by following the recipe and adding the ingredients in the right order. So my first code, or step, would be to get the right ingredients. Like the, uh... Do you guys know what ingredients go on a pizza? Well, every pizza is different, but there's usually the dough, the pizza sauce, the cheese, and any other toppings you want to add. Then, you put it all together and it makes a pizza. But to make it look like that picture, you kind of have to do things in a certain order. Right, Ruby? Yep, that's right, Pascal. In computer coding language, we call that sequencing. Just like when we follow the commands to move Robot Puppy. To make the pizza, first you have to roll out the dough to make it flat. Then you spread some pizza sauce. Then you add the cheese and the other toppings. And then you bake it. Oh, okay. So what happens if you mix up the order? You know, use the wrong sequence. Well, then the pizza doesn't turn out like the picture. You wouldn't put the toppings on the dough without rolling it flat first. Otherwise, the toppings would fall off or stick to the rolling pin. And you wouldn't spread the pizza sauce before you even had your dough. Otherwise, you're just spreading it on the table. Or if you tried to do the baking before you'd even made anything, you may have a problem on your hands. Oh, okay. So that works just like we do, as far as sequencing and coding, which is when one thing leads to another, which leads to another, and so on. If the order is wrong, everything is thrown off. Exactly. And you know, sequencing is found in a lot of other things, like tying your shoe or making a sandwich. And Robot Puppy uses sequencing all the time in Nancy Drew Codes and Clues. So just to recap, sequencing is when one thing leads to something else, or to many things. The order of when these things happen makes a difference because it will either mess up your project or help it turn out right. That's really interesting. Well, now I know. Learn something new every day, right? Right. Hey, Robot Puppy. We're... Oh, I see you went and got some private eye pizza. I guess Robot Puppy just really likes sequencing. <laughs> <laughs>